the remake of the iconic Resident Evil 4 is nearly upon us. We do know some of what Capcom has already changed, but here's 10 things that I think most gamers would agree Capcom should not change from the original. The beginning setup of the game. By that I mean the drive, the first house, and the village. These are all necessary components that needed to be retained. The beginning section of Resident Evil 4 is by far its strongest in quality, story, and level design throughout the game. Right now, it seems trailers and gameplay footage have confirmed nearly all of this minus a few details. Adding more content to these is fine as well, as long as it's still good. The iconic beginning of the game, at a minimum, Keep at least what was there originally. What are you buying? Everyone's favorite merchant. The merchant that became a gaming icon on his own. Not only has to be back, but at some point has to say his iconic lines. Non-negotiable. Over here, stranger. Great thing is, he's so far confirmed as shown here but still waiting on those iconic lines that started memes and a huge wave of video game references. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. The inventory game. I mean, the puzzle Tetris style management for all weapons and items that Leon carries with him throughout the game. It wouldn't feel like Resident Evil 4 without it. Sure, the system presented in Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes is solid, and I wouldn't hate having an option to switch between both modes. You gotta have the inventory system first and foremost, though. Gladly confirmed to be retained from the original game and updated, highly unlikely that we'll be able to switch to the older remake style of inventory, though. <laughs> I've been expecting you, my brethren. Salazar. More so his personality and his interactions with Leon. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. His maniacal and zany personality should stick around in some capacity. How dare you! No more games! Kill him! I'm taking the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. Ah, the entertainment. Without further ado, the gallant knight protects the princess fair. <laughs> it's likely Resident Evil 4 remake is very serious in tone, like its predecessors with the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. That doesn't mean we can't have a few moments of witty humor for a pinch of character depth. I do worry though, as just about all remake cutscenes have been pretty straight to the point and lacking in developing a lot of character. No Metal Gear Solid cutscenes these are not, but Resident Evil 4 did seem to have an abundance of cutscenes. Short but quite a few compared to the other Resident Evils. Hopefully, Salazar is able to keep some of what made him so fun to go up against as Leon. Hmm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! The trailers have me a bit worried so far because he seems a bit different in tone compared to the original, but we've only seen a small glimpse so far as well. We'll leave this as to be determined. This ties into the last one a bit, but the original's knack for humor... Just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. No. Oh. <laughs> I know humor is mostly void in the remix. These are absolutely not the same type of written games as of old. Again, that doesn't mean we can't have any humorous moments or fun dialogue throughout the entirety of the game. There's definitely a time and place for humor. But in the moments, 
where the characters can catch a short breath would be a good place to start. Luis Serra provided a lot of that element of humor in the original. The trailers maybe allude to that a bit for this time as well. Ah, oh, a little rough, don't you think? Bruce, this is Condor One. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then, well done. The ally directing you through radio calls throughout the game maintaining communication and status updates throughout. Not just the obvious, but I enjoyed the original's work relationship and connection. Yes, Leon, work relationship. Careful there, buddy. Not necessarily specifically what Leon said to Hennigan, definitely an area to be improved upon, but it seemed like the two got to know each other by the end of the game. Sure. Leon was hitting on her a lot in the original. May not be the best of writing, but her presence helps solidify the game's atmosphere. Makes the game feel like you are in fact on a mission to rescue the president's daughter. We've seen so far that Hannigan is in fact back in the remake, but not enough to tell how Leon and her are communicating throughout the game just yet. The weapons and upgrade system. What was there previously should still be intact. If Capcom wanted to expand or improve upon it, no issues there. All the weapons that were in the original and the fact that you could upgrade each several times in different categories, such as capacity and power, etc., needs to exist or be equally comparable if changed. The previous remakes didn't really have this beyond attachments to improve a few weapons minimally. This is one area that's more of a stark contrast that should be pretty different compared to what we've come to expect from the last two entries. Atmosphere. The overall vibe of the game. The look, color, ambiance, the creepy tension in the air, all components that elevated the original game. The color palette of browns and grays, muted colors make the original a bit soulless, but in a good way. It makes the whole game seem dark and gritty. It's a bad place to be, a nightmare scenario. A lone wolf up against the unimaginable horror of a situation. Resident Evil 4 nailed the atmosphere. The best part of the original's atmosphere is that it achieved it with all times of day and night rainy and ominous in several different locations. I have some concerns with the remake just making everything a dark night and rainy all the way through. That's not a good recipe for what gamers' expectations are for remaking such a highly touted game in the industry. But don't jump to any conclusions yet. This is still to be determined. Hidden items scattered throughout the game. Capcom has toyed with different implementations of items and ways to unlock and find expensive items throughout the franchise. Resident Evil 4 may have done it the best, and it simply comes down to interactivity. The spinals, gold, valuables to shoot down from ceilings, walls, nests and trees, and anywhere in sight makes the game so much more involving. It adds another element to the level design for making the player stick around longer clear out more enemies to be able to search for treasure, blue medallions stacked on top of this to add even more value. The remakes for 2 and 3 stayed more faithful to the original games by not having this, and simply sticking to raccoon statues only, but if they would have added some of this to each of those as well, could have added a little bit more longevity and replay value to them. By no means do I expect Capcom to remove this in any way. Adding more blue medallions throughout the game would be a positive. At minimum, retaining this feature is the expectation. Music and sound effects. I fully anticipate a modern update to both of those. 
We also already know of the original music track being available alternatively to the remake's new music. Already a prominent win to be able to switch between the two or stick with the original's nostalgia because it was so good the first time, I doubt there's much that could be improved upon. Sound effects, sure, weapons should sound more up to date and accurate, also not be hindered by the lower audio capabilities when it was first released for the GameCube, specifically sounds like the inventory, picking up items, the merchant's music, and all the other bits of sound that helped enhance the original's experience. Those are our 10 things we don't want Capcom to change, at least Keep it close if they can would be ideal. Of course, there will be a lot they do alter. We're not looking for the same game with just a texture upgrade here. We want improvements where and when it makes sense to do so. Let me know down in the comments which one of these 10 maybe you didn't actually agree with and would like change, and what you hope the remake actually does change and differ from the original that did not get mentioned. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you like the content to keep the channel going. And we'll see you next time on Hitobox.